Okay, so in our last video, we looked at how to remove the background from an object. And in this video, what we want to do is we're going to look at two tools. Now, these tools might seem like they're just fun and that there's really no practical purpose for them, but that's not true, actually. These are two tools that are going to be very helpful, especially as we work towards our final project of creating our superheroes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we first need to take a picture of ourselves. I know this is everybody's least favorite thing is to take a picture of yourself, but uh, this will help us to be able to use these two tools and explore the functionality of them pretty well. So you can go ahead and open up Photo Booth, and you can get yourself uh, in the picture. Go ahead and take your picture. And then once you've got your picture, we're going to go ahead and take that picture and we're just going to drag it over to Photo Booth, or Photoshop rather. Drop it, drop it in there, and we'll have it in Photoshop. We're ready to start working with it. All right, now, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to start off just by uh, cropping this picture just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with. So this tool down here uh, looks like a little picture frame is our crop tool. And so we're going to go ahead and just kind of crop the edges of this. And I'm going to bring this in just like that. And I'm going to hit the check mark to apply the changes. And then the second thing that we want to do is we want to use the, uh, the tool that we just got finished using in the last video called the magnetic lasso tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on the magnetic lasso. And our goal is going to be to cut the background out and just have our picture left here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to start and I'm going to go around my shoulder. I'm going to go around my ear. Hair is the hardest one, hardest part to do. So you may have to just kind of click and kind of go around and navigate around your hair. Makes it a little difficult, but we can do it. I'm going to go around my other ear. Oh, I missed part of it. Remember, you can hit delete to go back and you can click to kind of force it to go in uh, the position that you want it to go in. And remember also that we've got to complete the circuit. So we've got to go all the way back around. So I'm just going to go across the bottom. It's okay if the bottom gets a little uh, wonky and the line's all crooked. And then as soon as I get back to where I started, you'll notice again that the circle shows up there. And I'm going to go ahead and click and turn that into that bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my two finger click, layer via copy, and you'll notice that I have this new layer over here, and when I click the eye next to the bottom layer, it makes the background go away. All right, now, the tool that I want to use, and again, one thing to always check, make sure that you have this layer selected. You can see it's selected, it has this little white box around the picture, and it also is a different color here. The tool that I want to use is going up to Filter, and I'm going to start off with this tool called Liquify. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Liquify. And when I click on Liquify, it brings me into this new window where I have some other tools that I can use. So the first tool that I want to start off with is this one that looks like just a finger pushing down on the screen, I think. And when I click on that, I get this circle. This is, uh, I can come over here to the side. This is the size, so I can change the size of it if I want. And what this tool does, pretty cool, I can take this and I can, whoop, I can kind of drag it across. And basically what it does is it treats the picture as if it were wet paint. So what are we doing with this? Well, the goal of this is going to be we're going to, just kind of play around with this. We're going to turn ourselves into an angel. And I'm going to just kind of do some stuff here. And we do some things down here, whatever, just kind of playing around. Um, now, what is the practical purpose of this tool? Why am I showing you this? Well, part of it is, you know, as we go to put different objects, combine objects in place, Sometimes they don't fit the way they're supposed to. As we're trying to, as we're trying to put those objects together, um, it just 
you know, the, the sizing's off, the proportions are off. So this is kind of a good tool because this tool we can kind of shove things in, you know, mm -hmm. we can move things around, we can kind of change the dimensions of things, make it so that things fit and they go where they're supposed to go. Then, so anyways, that's the first tool there. I also have this tool called the pucker tool and I can click on this, I can make things go in, get really small. The one beneath that is called the bloat tool and I can take this one and I can make this get really big, all right? Um, so if you're not, if you don't like that, you can go scroll down, you'll see that it says reconstruct. And I can take this, oops. I can, if I don't like this, I can scroll down. I'm gonna hit restore all and bring it back. And I'm just gonna, again, I'm gonna make this size a little bit bigger. And and then up again. All right. Then um, once I've done that and I've got myself kind of transformed into this alien, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I wouldn't really be a good alien if I didn't wasn't. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to change the color of things. Now again, changing the color of things seems like, well, what's the practical purpose of it? But you might be trying to add a object onto your screen. Maybe you want to add a red cape onto your picture. But the only picture that you could find that works is blue. Can we still use that picture? Yes, we can. And so that's what we want to take a look at is how do we change the color of something. So I'm going to do this by changing the color of my face, turn myself into an alien um, by making myself look green. So I'm going to click on my quick selection tool. I've got to just make sure that up at the top that I have the one with the plus sign selected here that says add to selection. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go around. I'm going to try to select all the areas of my face and make sure that's all selected. I got a little bit of my shirt here, and I don't want that. So I'm going to click the minus one, and the minus one will make it so it does not select my shirt. And that way I can just have just my face selected. Once I've done that, I'm going to come up to the top, and I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, hue saturation and when I click on that I can kind of drag this out of the way what it's going to do is it's going to change the hue or the color of anything that is inside of my selection box so I can drag this to the side and that looks pretty good I think make myself into uh, <laughs> kind of maybe look like the Grinch or something all right so I'm gonna hit OK and just to kind of again show uh, what we can do, I'm going to hit switch back to the plus sign. This time I'm going to change, I'm going to click on my shirt. Oops. Actually, I forgot to do one thing. Everything was still selected. So before I do this, I'm going to hit Command and D on my keyboard. Hitting Command D, D selects everything. And that way I can go back. I'm going to just try to select just my shirt and click on that. And again, I'm going to go back and do Image, Adjustments hue saturation and maybe I want to have a different color shirt on. Maybe I want my shirt to be Let's see. Maybe I can make it kind of green to match. Now if it you'll notice you can also change the saturation. That makes it uh, more color, the lightness. You can change that so that you can kind of play with the coloring of it. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Command D, and that will deselect it so that it takes it out. And there you go. We've turned ourselves into an alien. Now, again, the point of that 
was that we can change the color of things. We can make it so that we don't have to search for a particular color. Anything, any object that we find that works, we can change the color of it. We can also change the shape of things so that you know maybe we found a helmet that we want to put on, but the helmet's just a little too big. We can kind of uh, push the side of the helmet in so that it fits and it makes it go in place. Um, so there's some practical reasons why we wanted to learn this tool and why these tools would be helpful.